Computer City was a chain of United States-based computer superstores from 1981 to 1998. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. If you're trying to decide how much power you need, how much speed, if you're trying to decide how many megabytes or gigabytes, or even what a gigabyte is, and if you're trying to decide what's the right price to pay, there's only one decision to make. Computer City, where you'll get Microsoft's Windows 95 with full, fast, 32-bit, multi-threading, multitasking, and one-button application access. Computer City, you can't make a wrong decision when you go to the right store. In 1981, the original Computer City was founded by Leonard and Myrna Simon in Costa Mesa, California. Len Simon sat at the original Apple retail console while Myrna was in charge of HR. Within the first year, Computer City had added stores in Brea and Pasadena, California. Computer City expanded to San Diego, Beverly Hills, Encino, Cerritos, and Torrance, California. Computer City was the first independent Los Angeles computer retailer to offer the original IBM 5150 PC along with Sears and Computerland. Computer City was acquired in 1983 by Rick and Joe Anatomy, and now known as Inacomp, became the second largest computer retailer in the United States with sales over $500 million a year in computer products. By 1985, market conditions in computer retailing had changed. As computers were getting less of a mystery to more people, profit margins began to drop. Retailers who offer business-to-business -business consultative search services to sell computer systems could no longer afford expensive salespeople. Taking the name of a Los Angeles retailer they had purchased two years earlier, Rick V. and Joe Inatomi gave rise to the first big box merchandising concept, Computer City. With an investment from Mitsubishi, Joe leveraged his vendor relationships at Inacomp to bring IBM, Apple and Compaq to their first big box merchandise store, initially privately held by Inatomi and Mitsubishi. Computer City innovated a number of retail concepts that are now common retail practices. First begun at the Costa Mesa Incomp, the store hosted a professional service bureau called the Graphic Zone. The store operated a cafe which served coffee and sandwiches to prolong shopping visits, and the store featured a product training center that included an electrosonic video wall with 16 32-inch monitors which served as a digital signage for the store when training wasn't in session. The store also made heavy use of the vendor management inventory, vendor shops, and co-op funded retail displays which are now common practice throughout the retail industry. Tandy bought the Computer City concept and store in 1991 and launched Computer City as a national chain, as well as Incredible Universe. But it, that is for another video. The stores resembled CompUSA Supercenter concepts, but lacked the financial backing CompUSA had. CompUSA, having a larger market share, bought the company and in the process shut down one of its smaller competitors. Computer City was recognized as the second fastest retailer to hit $1 billion in sales in 1995, and in 1996 was recognized as the second fastest retailer to hit $2 billion in sales. Sam's Club was the fastest retailer to hit $1 billion. No surprise. As both Computer City and Tandy's other venture, Incredible Universe, were both having financial issues, the computer departments of Incredible Universe were changed to Computer City. 
One hallmark of Computer City's retail concept is that the store operated much like a grocery store. Customers could not only browse, but select and purchase almost all merchandise without the assistance of a salesperson. Furthermore, until mid-1996, the floor staff did not have revenue quotas and were not paid on commission. This model was seen as creating a competitive disadvantage as computers were still new to many customers in those days and a lack of qualified and knowledgeable salespeople who had no incentive to self-improve led to frustrated customers and high rate of returns. On June 22, 1998, CompUSA announced that it was purchasing the Computer City chain for $275 million. Upon completion of the takeover in September of 1998, CompUSA shuttered 50 of the stores outright and transitioned the remainders into CompUSA locations. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.